18 years ago, America was shaken to its core and then rose above the ashes united. Today, ceremonies coast to coast paid tribute to the thousands who lost their lives that fateful September day that millions vowed to never forget. Across the country, Americans are marking the 18th anniversary of the September 11th terrorist attacks. It was the worst foreign attack on U.S. soil, soil and left nearly 3,000 people dead. Wendy Gillette reports from New York. Family members of those killed on 9-11 returned to the World Trade Center site. Timothy Sean Haskell. Reading their names and sharing memories of their loved ones, Robert never Dave. forgotten. I look forward to a moment when our souls can reconnect. These women came to pay tribute to Tanyelle McDay, a computer technician who died when hijackers crashed a plane into the North Tower. Yes, it's been a long time, but it's like day one all over again. Others came to honor relatives they never had a chance to meet. I've never met you before, but you'll always be in our minds, our hearts, in our everyday lives. Here in Lower Manhattan, many paused at the new 9-11 Memorial Glade to remember the first responders and volunteers who became sick or died as a result of the recovery efforts. All went above and beyond. They didn't just do their eight-hour day and, and leave. They, too, were unsung heroes. At the Pentagon, where 184 people died, President Trump and First Lady Melania laid a wreath. We offer you all that we have, our unwavering loyalty, our undying devotion. Vice President Pence traveled to Shanksville, Pennsylvania, hailing the brave crew and passengers of Flight 93, who helped prevent even more tragedy by confronting the hijackers and bringing the plane down. They were ordinary Americans, but their heroism would inspire the nation. 18 years later, the nation has stayed true to the pledge to never forget. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York. Well, for the first time, all schools in New York were required to observe a moment of silence today, ensuring those who weren't even born on 9-11 never forget.